Welcome back to Professor Leighton and the Unbound Future. So, Professor, what do you think about this whole event? Do you believe that someone has really built a working time machine? I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true, can you imagine the stir it will cause in the scientific community? Well, I for one am very excited. Though, you don't sound entirely convinced, Professor. Anything's possible, Luke. But I won't be convinced until I've seen the contraption work for myself. And I must confess, something about this entire presentation seems a bit... off. Why do you say that? Ah, of course! That must be your famous intuition talking, huh? That's one way of putting it. But enough speculation. Look over there, Luke. That guard? What about him? He seems to be looking for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Oh, so we have an intruder in our midst. Let's go talk to that guard. Oh dear, this is not going to go over well. You look troubled, sir. May we be of any assistance? Oh yes, please. You see, I've, I've just received a report of untowards behavior. Puzzle number one, Party Crasher. This puzzle is worth 10 Picarats. Dude. There is an uninvited guest at the event, but the guard has received a few clues as to its whereabouts. Sorry about that. His table is next to the one with the red flower. His tablecloth is a different color than any next to it. Oh, and his table isn't decorated with a yellow flower. Next to means table connected by dotted lines. Take the guard to the intruder table. So I can definitely make sure that the intruder is not sitting near a table with the same table with the same color of the tablecloth next to it. And they don't have any yellow flowers on it. So So that eliminates about five tables. I'm hmm. I'm going to guess the table with the red flower and the red tablecloth as it's beside a table with not the same color and it's beside a table with a red flower or with two red flowers because there's one below it and one beside it. Okay. Yeah, my emulator is a bit laggy sometimes. Okay. So, yes, I'm double checking. Yes, there's nothing beside it. It matches the clues. Yep. Come on, come on, stupid emulator. Submit. Submit. Sub. No, I do not want to drag it. Yes, submit. Hmm. How about this? Yay, I got it correct. I knew it. Good work, you found the party crasher. Now it's time to let the guard do his job. Splendid work, my boy! Puzzle 1, party crasher is now in your puzzle index. All about Picarats. Picarats are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more Picarats a puzzle is worth, the tougher it is. Gathering lots of Picarats. The more Picarats you earn, the more content to unlock. Woohoo! You thanks so much for your help. That fellow's mooching days are over. Did you see that, Professor? I just aided in the apprehension of a suspect. Oh, look, the presentation is about to begin. Let's get back to our seats. Fa la 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 la. Lady. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, 
thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history. And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan. He sounds German. Maybe he is German. Thank you, my esteemed colleagues. After years of research in the field of time travel, I'm pleased to share the fruits of my labor. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. But first, I'm delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks is in attendance today. As such, I have reserved a very special seat for our very special guest. Please, join me on stage, Prime Minister. No need to be shy. Oh, so he's the Prime Minister. Is this thing real? What do you mean? I mean, is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Why don't you have a seat? See for yourself. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, but for the entire human race. Mm. Since the beginning of time, we humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. We have conquered the skies and the seas, and we have even traveled to outer space. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is time. Bum, bum, bum. Indeed, traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. Until now. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. Thank you for those words, Prime Minister. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Please take it away, Dr. Stangan. I have just one more request before we start. I'd very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. What do you say, Mr. Hawks? What? I assure you, there's no cause for concern. But uh, I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. It was never my wish to make you uncomfortable. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety. Please, feel free to return to your seat, Prime Minister. Wait. Uh, what I mean to say is, of course I can assist you. Bill, have you lost your mind? Ah, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader. You have my thanks. And now, without further ado, I give you my time machine. You give Mr. him his time machine? Would you mind just stepping inside? No. Oh, he does step inside. Oh dear. I'm guessing this is going to be a cutscene, so I won't be speaking around here. This seems like one ancient machine, actually. It doesn't seem very new to me. Doesn't he need to sit down? Why is he standing up? He'll probably be like thrown and get beaten up in that time machine if he stands up. <laughs> oh. 
Oh dear. What's happening? What's happening? I see... Electricity. Oh, oh dear, won't the Prime Minister be electrocuted? Yeah. Ouch. Oh. Oh my. Ouch, I feel sorry for that water fountain. that what happened last week is somehow connected to this letter. Wait, maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too. Maybe. I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? Oh, yes, I read about it in the paper. Oh wow, England's Some of newspaper is made out of gibberish. Mysteriously banishing. Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. In any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Good idea! Another unsolved mystery, the missing leader. Well, anyways, I'll be ending my let's play here. Until next time.